It's another edition of the UTRGV Baseball Show. My name is Jonah Goldberg, and this is the head coach of the UTRGV Baseball Team, Manny Mandrana. Hello, Jonah. Good, good to have you. It's been a good few games for you of the last six games. You know, in four of them, you've had 14 hits. Exactly 14. That's pretty good, then. This 14 might be our, our new lucky number. Um, but the offense has, uh, has uh, woken up. Um, we're really starting to swing the bats well, um, and that's pretty good timing heading into our first uh, WAC uh, weekend. You know, it's been it's been like a progression with the bats. It started out where bats were cold, and then you started to get hits, but not bunching them together, not necessarily with runners in scoring position. Now you're bunching them together. You know, you look at uh, Friday, three in the first, two in the second, three in the third. You look at Saturday, seven in the second inning, and everything seems to be clicking at the right time. You know what? It's um, you you need hitting throughout the lineup, Jonah, but um, more importantly, you need timely hitting. Um, and as you mentioned, that, uh, that inning where we scored seven runs, uh, we strung eight quality of bats uh, uh, together. I mean, back to back to back to back to back to back. That's tough to do. Um, and we're able to produce that, that, uh, that seven spot. But you, you do need, obviously, the timely hitting. And you're right, it's kind of come along slowly. But we're finally uh, hitting throughout the lineup. Um, and we're getting those hits when we need them. It's really made me optimistic for what's going to happen at the start of WAC play or throughout WAC play because the hitting is here. The pitching's been there all year. And, I mean, this is the perfect time to be hitting your stride. You're not peaking too early. You're peaking right on time. We need, we need to play um, good baseball on weekends. Um, and, again, um, I think we can. Uh, obviously, the pitching continue, needs to continue. Uh, we need to play good defense for the pitching, Jonah. Um, and we need to, we need to have some, some good at-bats and, and timely hitting. Um, I think we're capable of it, um, as you said, uh, starting to pick up right at the right time. And that's always it's it's always important. You want you want to uh, play well heading into uh, into your conference play. Manny Laredo is uh, on a tear. He started the season over eleven. He's hitting four hundred since then. Yeah, um, and again, Manny is uh, really really his work ethic is through the roof. Um, um, he works hard. He's come a long way as a defensive player and offensive player. Um, and I'm happy that that he's getting the results that uh, that he's uh, getting because he's uh, he's worked for it. What I'm trying to decide right now is who's the tougher out, Joseph Collazo or Jose Garcia? You know, those two guys have been hot for us all year, Jonah. Um, and as we talked in previous shows, we need, you know, a couple more hot, a couple more guys to start getting hot, and that's what's happened. Um, because both uh, Collazo and Garcia have really been um, um, really leading the offense since, um, since the season started. And it's nice now that a couple of the guys um, are beginning to, uh, to heat up um, and give him some, uh, some help in that offense, which is, you know, you want that uh, hitting throughout the lineup, one through nine. Um, and it looks like we're getting that. You know, some guys are beginning to wake up with the bats. You mentioned Laredo, Longcar, you know, Davis is beginning to wake up with the bat. Um, Mercer has had some good at bats. So, um, again, we're putting it together um, at the right time, but now we have to make sure um, opening weekend um, and, you know, the eight weekends after that, that we do what we need to do to, uh, to be competitive in the WAC. Longcar had his first three-hit game of the season on Saturday, and he's hitting right in between Collazo and Garcia. I think that's a great spot for him. That's, um, you know, that's for him right now, it's where he needs to be. Obviously, I would like to have him in the third or fourth hole. Um, but if, uh, you know, Jose Maido gets on um, and then Longcar comes in there, um, you know, they know that Maido can run. So uh, chances are that Longcar is going to see a lot more fastballs. Um, and when you're in a little bit of a slump, Obviously, they know he's our best hitter coming back. They they really pitched him differently um, than they have most of the guys. But once you hit in the second hole, um, and the leadoff man gets on base, you're going to see some fastballs, and and that way he can just kind of get his confidence back um, and have some good at bats because he's a big piece of the puzzle. Use the same batting order back to back games over the weekend against Jackson State. Does that mean the lineup set now as we head head into whack play? Well, you know what when when you score, um, you know. Um, as many runs as we did the night before, and they've they've had some really good at bats. You don't want you don't want to tinker with it too much, but um, that that depends. Um, obviously, we're gonna our, if we face a right-handed pitcher, our lineup's gonna be different than a left-handed pitcher. Um, so, um, but if we were to start with the same right-handed uh, pitchers that we faced, you know, the last couple of games, chances are the lineup will remain the same. Yes. And you know, clicking on all cylinders, Jacob Huckabee is having his best season with the bat so far. Is that just is it being further removed from the knee injury? Is it getting out from behind the plate? What do you think has helped him here? Did, um, Huck is another guy that um, that's really beginning to uh, help out the offense. Um, I think the biggest thing with 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 Jake uh, Jonah was he's um, 
his attitude. Um, he was such a perfectionist. Uh, and in baseball, you know, especially as a position player, you know, you're going to fail 70% of the time. You have to be able to let that go because um, you're only going to, you know, to succeed, you only need three out of seven or three out of ten. And I think he was just way too hard on himself, and he forgot that hitting is tough. Um, and it's hitting is, you know, you better know how to accept failure because you're going to fail 70% of the time. He's enjoying the game a lot more. He realizes that hitting is tough. Um, he's having the most fun that I've seen him have since he's been with us, and he's been with us um, for four years. So um, I'm glad to see him having success. He's a wonderful young man. Um, another uh, player that his work ethic is through the roof. So I'm happy to see that he's having success. And of course, if you can't win if you don't get good pitching, and that is something that you've been getting all the time. But Johnny Gonzalez on Friday, another six shutout innings. He hasn't allowed a run in 14 and two thirds innings. He hasn't allowed a walk in 12 and a third inning. Oh, and he's the whack pitcher of the week. He's really, um, you know what? He's really pitched well. Um, making the move with him um, from the bullpen as our closer last year to a starter has really paid big, uh, big dividends for us. Um, Again, um, three-pitch guy, uh, very good athlete, feels his position, controls the running game, uh, very good competitor. Um, so, you know, with, with him, it's been, um, it's been a joy to watch every time he pitches because he's one of those guys that, okay, he's pitching. We know we're going to be in the game, and we've got a great chance to win. 120 ERA through non-conference play. Strikeout to walk ratio is approaching 3-1. to one. Fewer hits than innings pitched. Did, did, did you think that this was possible in his first year as a starter this quickly? Well, you always, you know, always had a good arm. You always want to think the best, um, but he's really adapted to the role extremely well. Um, and, it, and it's a nice position to be in. Um, you know, we've, we had our Friday night guy for two years when Sam Street was with us, um, and he was locked in. Last year, our Friday night guy, during the Christmas break, uh, broke his hands, um, and we had to scramble. So it's been nice having Johnny as our Friday night uh, guy and, and him being able to show that he deserves that role. So it's, it's, a great, um, it's a great benefit uh, for the team to know that, hey, you know what, Friday night we've got Johnny going, and chances are um, he's going to keep us in the game and we've got a good chance to win. I know I have that feeling. I walk into the ballpark, I see Johnny G in the lineup card, and I think, yep, we're winning this game. I feel that way with Andrew Garcia, too. Had a pitch very well against Jackson State, also another six uh, strong inning. I like um, what those two guys have, uh, have shown so far, Jonah. Um, they've, been, they've been solid. They've been consistent, and that's what you want. Um, you want a chance for your starters to keep you in the game um, so you have a chance to win. What you don't want is your starter after, you know, three innings and, and you're down 5 nothing. Uh, but these two guys have really kept us in the game. Um, they've done a good job. And um, like, like, like you said, it's, it's good to see them because it also builds the confidence of the other players. Uh, bullpen continues to dominate. Uh, one of the, my favorite arms to watch is George Lamb. Every time he comes out of the bullpen, he strikes out two batters. He doesn't allow anybody on base. And are you telling me he's not 100% yet? You know what? He's, um, <laughs> he's one of the kids that we feel um, really, really strong about. Um, we recruited him out of Arizona um, as, a, as a junior. He hurt his arm his senior year. We bought him in anyways. Last year, he was uh, recovering um, from that uh, arm surgery. Um, but he's almost back to full force. When we saw him in Arizona, he was anywhere from 88 till about 91. Um, and he's been touching 88, 89 now. Um, but George is a you know big-bodied uh, young man, um, another uh, guy that really really works hard. Um, great teammate, and he's only a sophomore. We're looking for big things from George this year and um, in the next couple of years to come. You, the bullpen's been so good, and now you're trying to add another arm to it. I saw Austin Douglas make his pitching debut on Friday. You know he gave up four base runners, but uh, the walk was on a three-two pitch. Uh, he plunked the very first batter he faced. Okay. And then the two hits, neither of them were exactly hit hard. No, you know what, he's, um, that was to be expected. Obviously, the nerves are going to be um, going quite a bit um, for him. I think once um, he, he got that, that inning out of the way, I think the next time we see him, he's going to do a lot better. But we feel, uh, we feel confident that uh, he's got 90 in his arm, um, and he's got a very good breaking ball um, and a feel for the changeup. So there's another guy um, adding uh, uh, Austin to the mix that uh, is going to make our pitching staff a lot stronger. Well, strong, strong it's definitely been throughout. And, you know, now you're getting to that point in the season where it be, it's becoming decision time. Whack weekend. I mean, we know your first two. Have you settled on the number three starter? Yet? We've, um, you know, we've toiled around with that quite a bit. Um, and we've got some guys that can do it. Obviously, Ryan Jackson has done a great job with, with the number three uh, spot. Um, 
but we're, we're still needing a closer. Um, we really haven't found that guy, haven't found it. So we made a decision. Um, we're going to move Eddie Delgado to our third uh, uh, conference guy on, on a, the third game of the weekend. And Ryan Jackson is going to be our closer. And the thing with Ryan is, um, number one, you know exactly what you're going to get. You can't bring in a guy leading by one in the ninth inning that's going to walk the house. Ryan is not going to do that. Ryan is going to come at you with three pitches. Uh, he's going to throw strikes. Um, he's tough mentally. He's a competitor. Um, on top of that, his arm bounces back really, really good. So if we can have, you know, if we need to use him an inning on uh, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, and all three days, um, Ryan is one of the few guys that we have that's able to do that. Um, and that's what you want in your closer. You want, you want your closer to have the uh, ability uh, to bounce back day after day and um, just kind of close down the game for you. And Jackson, we saw him in the bullpen last year, and he pitched really well coming out of the pen. So this is a move that can help to lengthen your depth and just uh, further make that pitching staff untouchable. I think um, once we get that, that, that closure, and I think Ryan is going to be that guy, um, we've got uh, enough arms. Uh, if you know, We'll get good starting pitching, and then we'll have a mix and a match, um, you know, six, seventh, eighth innings to get to that closure. Um, I think we're going to be a lot better ball club because of that. Well, we know Justin Quinonia starts tomorrow against Texas State. So Pablo Ortiz in relief on Saturday. Does that mean he's going to be one of your whack relievers, or might he start again later? You know what? Um, going into the first weekend, Ortiz is going to be in the bullpen. Um, and again, that's, that's just strengthening the bullpen with, with him, um, obviously. Parker has thrown uh, you know, the ball well. Now we've added um, Ryan to the mix. You've seen what George can do coming out of the bullpen. Yeah. Zach Martinez has done a good job for us. So we have, we have some choices. Um, now it's all about the matchups and making sure um, that we're bringing in our guys uh, with a chance to be successful. Well, Texas State tomorrow, uh, Quinones is coming off his best outing of the year, three shutout innings against Arlington Baptist. You know, last year he had a really strong season as a starter. Do you think he's starting to, to get back to where he was now? We need for him um, to get back to where he was. Obviously, uh, last year he was uh, as a freshman, got a lot of innings in, uh, was a pretty good uh, pitcher uh, for us. Um, but you know what, there's competition. Um, and that's the good thing about competition. We've got some guys that if, you know, if, if one guy falters, another guy can step in. So we're hoping that Justin bounces back uh, to, uh, to his form as a freshman because uh, he hasn't been hurt. There was no injury. Um, but he's kind of had a slow start uh, to, to, the, to the year. And sometimes that happens. Um, uh, talking to Coach Nelson, he's looking better in his bullpens. He's getting his breaking ball back. And I think that was a big factor. Had a really good breaking ball last year, kind of, I don't know where it went. Um, and we've been working on that to make sure we get it back. But um, he will start tomorrow against Texas State, and we'll see how he does. Texas State, that, uh, that's a real quality opponent coming in. Uh, you know, that's a, that's a team that they host Texas seemingly on a yearly basis. And uh, to get them to come down here, pretty good. Last time you faced them, they had Paul Goldschmidt on their team. And you now he's an NL MVP candidate. You know what, that, um, David, they're having a good year this year. Um, you know, if you look at their numbers, they can swing it a little bit. They can, they can pitch it. Uh, they play good defense. Um, so we, we, we want to face those teams. We want to face good teams. Um, and then Texas State is definitely a good team. So we're looking forward to the, uh, to the challenge, and we're looking forward to competing against them. UTRGV plays host to Texas State Tuesday at 6 p.m. at the UTRGV Baseball Stadium. It's $2 Tuesday. General admission, 2 bucks, and concession items, $2.00 or less, and then UTRGV hits the road, and they open up WAC play Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at Northern Colorado. More information, go UTRGV.com. He's Manny Mintrana. He's head coach of the UTRGV <laughs> baseball team. And he's Jonah Gober. He's Mr. Uh, RGV Baseball. We'll see you next week, but until then, get those V's out.